Let's dive right into this. Why it's all right. Why it's not a good idea to get back with your ex if she he or she contacts you while you've been doing no contact. This actually just happened today and uh one of the people I've been helping and uh, communicating with. And look, when your ex contacts you, and, and, and as I say in a lot of my videos, they most likely will, because when you do proper no contact, uh, understand what that means really quickly again for those of you who don't. Proper no contact is no communication with your ex whatsoever. That's no texting, no emails, no calls, nothing. But it also goes beyond that. That's the first level. Second level of no contact is not looking at their Facebook, not looking at their Instagram, not looking at their Twitter, not looking at what, anything of theirs. Why? Because the purpose of no contact is to reduce your thoughts of your ex. And anything that will create thoughts of your ex. So even looking at photos and things like that, that's considered in my book con contact. Okay, you basically want to break contact, go cold turkey so that you can heal, focus on yourself, find strength again, and as you're going to be doing that, you're going to be powering yourself up energetically, physically, mentally, emotionally, and by doing so, you're going to become so much more attractive, including being much more attractive to your ex. Um, now, look, if you're doing no contact and, you know, as I, I help, uh, you know, and communicate and coach a lot of people and uh, I... It's just, it's, it's a no-brainer that, you know, uh, eventually your, your ex is going to break contact, communicate with you. That's very likely to happen. Um, but I get worried when I see people um, kind of going back to their ex. Why? Because I've been there and I know exactly what happens when you do that, when you haven't healed fully. Um, basically, you're, remember people, you know, we this is an addiction that we're trying to get that we're trying to overcome it's not love it's not this is my soulmate it's not none of that look love soulmate all of that can happen after you've healed okay and love soulmate all of that stuff if it's true love if it's true soulmate if it's truly the person you're supposed to be with etc etc there's no time limit on that. There's no rush. There's no like, oh, I need to get back in a couple of months with her or him because he or she's going to find someone else. No, then it's not true love, you know? This is just um, what I have seen from experience, okay? And uh, what I've seen with people that I've been helping and, and with myself as well. I want everyone out there to heal first. And in the process of healing, no contact is the tool for that healing. And in the process, well, it's one of the tools. And in the process of healing, you're making yourselves more powerful, more attractive every day. It feels like so hard for you every day. It feels brutal. It feels like you're lonely, empty, nothing has meaning. Life is just not the same. Yes, it feels that way, but you are also becoming more and more powerful. And you're not getting to see that as much. But I tell you, your exes most likely are. And uh, everyone around you will also see it. And you'll eventually see it too. Um, look, there's a rule out there that I do agree with in a way and it says that depending on how long you were in your with your ex for it usually takes half that amount of time to start to really heal so if you were together for three years then a year and a half it will take you to really kind of get over and and 
when I say really start to heal, I'm talking about you. You'll know what I mean. It's like you're 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 there. You know, you're pretty much there. Um, the way I look at it is, I I do agree with that statement, but I also like to add that I think that you need at least three months of no contact to to get over the hardest part. You know, the hardest part of the breakup. Once you've done three months, you're going to be so, so strong. And you're not going to want to, like, break contact because you're going to know, like, what it took to get to where you are. And all the hardship that you will have experienced in that time, it's going to be so helpful for you in life because very few things are going to be as hard as that again in life. And so, like, when, you know, I'll tell you from experience, like, when I feel sad or something bad happens to me, it's nothing compared to what I went through with my breakup. So, you know, you're just going to become, like, this powerful, you're going to be, like, a superwoman or superman. Like, really, you're going to, things, you're going to be much more powerful, much more energized, much more passionate. You're going to be... Uh, much more enhanced version of yourself. And that is what I want for everyone out there. Whether you go back to your ex or not, I want you guys to gain this massive power upgrade, this massive power boost that you have this opportunity to get. And all you have to do is just be strong for two months, three months, you know. And look, if your ex contacts you, let me know because I can help guide you guys. Like a lot of people get excited and then like arrange to meet up with their ex, see their ex, and then I get emails back and they're more destroyed than ever. They're like, oh, I should have listened, you know, I'm more lost and more destroyed than ever. Why? Here's why. I'm sorry it took seven minutes to get to this. This is a very important point, but your ex most likely isn't getting the coaching and getting the... Uh, education that you're getting right now by by reading all about this by watching videos and you're clearly here because you understand something and it might be that your ex isn't doing all this and the you know basically they're not going to be doing all the things that they need to be doing to uh, to heal while you're making yourself powerful. So they are most likely contacting you. It could be that they're aware of it, but I highly doubt it. I think 90% they're unaware. But what they really are contacting you for is not, you know, what you're dreaming of, which is, oh, my ex is back. Everything's going to be great again. No, if they're the ones who broke it off with you especially, but even if not, they're probably contacting you because they want their power back. Okay, and, you know, my ex still does this. A year and a half after, later, she'll email me the sweetest emails. Oh, you're so amazing. I, I should have listened to you. I'm lost without you. I think about you every day, blah, blah. And then she'll put in a little dig in there. And the dig will be to irritate me to, to, or to get me thinking of her, to get me to want to engage with her, okay? And she'll do anything, not just her. Most exes are going to do the same thing. They're going to do anything to get you to engage with them. Why? Because you've just spent, and you know how hard no contact is. You know how hard every day is. Every day that you've been working so hard, you've been building, building up your power, your power, and they're going to want that from you. Don't let them just take it from you. It's not fair. It's not fair on you. But like I said, most of them, that's what they want. They don't want you. They don't want, you know, what you think. They actually, they're suffering more than you, which is why they broke in the first place. And now they want that power. And what is power? Power is attention. Remember, power is ener energy is attention. So they want your, your energy. And this is how I'm going to wrap this video up, is that once they have t taken your energy and power, this is what I don't want you to experience, is that 
they could wind up breaking up with you again or ditching you again and you're just going to be in the same spot you were at the beginning it could even be more difficult all right but unfortunately so many people out there need to go through this again to like really really realize um i pray and i really hope that for for some people or many people that this isn't the case but look i got to be honest like it's going to be mostly the case because remember you're dealing with an addiction problem here it's not love it's not soulmate it's just addiction to another person and when that person leaves there's emptiness there's like the drug is gone and but if you spend long enough without and you be strong then you start to grow from within yourself and you no longer need anyone or that person and you become strong in yourself but if you're there you're healing and you haven't fully healed and then this person comes back contacts you and then you go of course it's going to feel amazing because you're getting your your drug back but when you give that person their fill of the drug what are they, how are they going to behave you know are they still going to is are they going to be attracted are they going to still be there are they going to you know so just be aware of that it's something i just want everyone out there to be really really mindful and cautious of i doubt you're going to listen <laughs> because i was in the same shoes and i was like i'm not going to listen to anything i want my ex back um but i'm making this video in the hopes that there are some strong wise smart people out there who can see the sense in what i'm saying and will stay true to their no contact not as a tool to get their ex back but as a tool to get their power back and to use that power to fully heal or at least heal enough so that they can start seeing things clearly thinking clearly and as i said if it is love and if it is soulmate if it is meant to be 6 months is not thing they'll wait for 2 years they'll wait for 3 we'll wait for 4 we'll wait for 5 nothing can stop that from taking place so you don't have to feel rushed you know focus on healing first because like i said there's an amazing opportunity for you guys out there to become more powerful more amazing than ever and then get that power get that um, that that upgrade that boost and then if you still feel like you know your ex is someone important that you want to try again with then try again slowly all right that's my video sending everyone out there a lot of love and best wishes especially one person in particular 